past couple of um, months, I've just been um, trying to get a grasp of how the graphics stack works in uh, WinRT, which is XAML and DirectX for me. And um, over the last couple of weeks, I've been building out my own framework for my own um, apps. And I'm, I've started building my uh, a couple of apps, but there's one app that I need to finish first, which is called Developer MX, and that's what this is. Developer MX is basically a developer, uh, it's a, a blend-like tool that I'll use to create all my other apps. And it's really, it takes Blend and Visual Studio to the next level where it um, it's really all about touch first and it's all about um, a very rich immersive way of building XAML DirectX apps for your line of business apps. Um, and um, More than just consumer apps, right? So it's really just it's really treating DirectX um, as first class citizen with blend in tooling and it's all around using touch first or um, gesture first so if I run this and you've seen this in previous videos not much has happened since I last made the last video, uh, last video but um, I'll, sh I'll run this again um, I've done most of the framework so the the, the core pieces of my uh, UI stack uh, UI framework is done. So it's got the taskbar, it's got message boxes, it's got notifications, it's got um, isolated storage, uh, sorry, database writes and reads, and it's even got the um, a concept called event sourcing in there. It's still running. So you'll see that it's got splash screens, it's, it's got everything that I need now to um, uh, to build apps with. But uh, And now, and it's got uh, this concept of a tool, taskbar, a toolbar at the bottom, and it's got a toolbar on the side for all the tools that um, that you can use to build your apps with. Um, it, uh, going from left to right here, it's got this here is the settings, so it lets you configure the, how the app looks. Um, this one here shows all the notifications that um, you want the user to act on. So if if I change the the color um, the t the, col the the color accents of my app. It will um, ideally it will show the th the notifications, but which I haven't finished yet. It will say it will show here. Um, please restart your application to see changes. That's the type of notifications I'm talking about. And these two show all the um, all the everything that happens in the system. If it's a button click, if it's a database write, if it's a, a pop up, if it's a um, if it's the when you try to add controls to the canvas, all of it travels through the system as events and is captured in what's called a single event source and that's saved to the database and the beauty of an event source is that it shows everything that happens through the system up over time and it, it lets you play that back so you can come back a year later and you can say play back what happened on day three and it will literally re-throw um, it will throw the, all those messages that happened on day three in sequence and the app, if because it's built um, on top of events, it listens for events to do anything. It will just play those events and replay the the pro, um, what the user did, which is awesome because then you can push that event source to the cloud, and you can um, you can replay those events in you um, different technologies. And the reason, uh, and I'll show you why I chose event sources. So if you if you look at this when I open up this screen, as you can see the style, I need to restart the app to see the effects of the style change. Let me just do that. But the other beauty of the event source and the reason why I chose to use the event source is because it allows me to um, it allows me to uh, coordinate the refreshing of the three different graphic stacks that we now um, are able to use, which is HTML. Uh, XAML and DirectX. So ideally I'd, I want to be able to um, create apps in XAML and DirectX but I also want to be able to push HTML uh, a web page um, with some advertising of what the app does. So I'll be able to do that using event source because it allows you to coordinate between three different UI stacks. So anyway so you could see if I go in into my workspace if I want, I want to add a control to my can, uh, uh, an image to my canvas. So in controls, there's an image control. You click on that. Um, message box pops up with um, yes or no message box. Yes, you want to add the control. It adds it down here, um, and by default, it's not rendered. 
right so by default it's um, unselected so like if you want to see it at the, the actual architecture of the um, app is there's three layers there's a direct access on the very top there's a direct uh, XAML layer in the middle and then there's a direct access at the very bottom which is down, back here so you, I have the choice of rendering DirectX on the very top or at the, at the very bottom um, uh, sandwiching the XAML layer. So in this case, when I render um, a dummy image, so when this image control gets added, this is a XAML control, it um, has a dummy image. And that's, this, that's what you see here. This is being rendered on the DirectX surface underneath everything. And then the first, this is a, a two-state button so the first state shows the image, the second state lets you um, configure that image. So you, in here, which I haven't finished, it'll let you change the default image to something else. And, it'll, and, and what I have worked finished is it lets you resize the image. So it's this here is in XAML, this is all XAML, this orange area. It's, it's, re, um, it's resizing this re rectangle. It's pushing events through the system as you can see it's it's um it, you'll see this light up and this light up it's pushing events through the system and it's saving the event source and then um, when this event source when this events um save um is propagated through the system the directx service underneath the composer uh, sorry the renderer can listen for those events and it knows that well you've updated um, event, you've, there's an update event, so redraw the um, the, uh, the DirectX surface. And it passes information, in, um, enough information to be able to know what of the image to redraw. So that lets me communicate between DirectX and XAML in a very, very nice way. And that uses event sourcing and um, a CQRS concept. So yeah, this lets me resize the image here and reposition. and then it will also let me change the image but yeah so that's so the basic framework for all the pieces of my um app are in place so i've got toolbars i've got notifications um i've got savings rewrites event source i've got controls now it's a, a matter of building out the controls and the functionality and hopefully i'll be able to finish that by the end of tuesday and uh, so then i can start using this de developer mx to build my apps with yeah, so very excited.